All right, let's make a fence. We're going to start in the front viewport. And under the functions menu, we're going to use measure and construction. We're going to use this um, to figure out how big our fence is going to be. And so we know where to put our points so that it will be even. All the links will be evenly spaced. I'm going to make mine a thousand. So I'm going to go down here to point one. And I'm going to make that negative 500. And point two, I'm going to make 500. And by making this, these two values, one negative, one positive, equally, that gives us our center right in the middle on, on all axes. All right, now we use a linear spline. We want hard edges, I mean hard points. We don't want soft points for this. And click on the top point, and while holding shift, click on the bottom point. Now we're going to go into box selection mode, select the top vert, and we want to make sure it's a zero on X, and we want to make sure it's 500 on Y. And then we'll select the bottom one, and do the same thing, but you want to make sure this 500 is negative 500. Okay. Then we go into object mode. And under functions, you want to subdivide it. And for a thousand, I would say 10 is probably about right. Depends on how tall yours is or how many links you want in in your uh, fence. The higher number here, the more links you'll have. Yeah, that's perfect. All right, so wall in box selection mode, we want to select every other point. And you do that by holding shift as you select them. Once you have them selected, on the x-axis, drag it out about a hundred works on me for me. It's all up to you on how you want your links to look. Right now we want to grab all the points and under structure, edit spline, we want to go to chamfer. And we want to chamfer it about, let's see, probably about 10. Yeah, that looks good. All right. Now we'll go back up to our splines and we'll grab a circle. We'll leave it on XY. But we'll bring down the radius to about five. Uh, we'll make it four. Then we'll go and grab a sweep nerves. Drag your circle and spline into the sweep nerves. And it's starting to look like chain link, somewhat. All right. <clears throat> I found that it's easiest for me to do this in the perspective viewport. And you can turn off the sweep nerves so you can see your points. But you want to select your spline. And using box selection. You don't have to do the top point or the bottom point, just all the points in between. 
grab all th uh, let's see that there's two points you grab the two points there and while holding shift rotate it on your heading 45 degrees then you go to your next set do the same thing you want to make sure you rotate them all in the same direction and the same amount of degrees Once you have all those angles, you grab your sweep knobs and make a copy of it. <coughs> now you want to rotate 180 degrees, hold shift, and then in the front viewport, zoom in on the middle there and drag it over on X till the two points right here in the middle or I should say the gap right here in the middle disappears just make sure you don't cross over there we go and it's starting to look like a fence Alright, now we'll grab both the sweep nerves and we'll group them. We'll call that our link. On the MoGraph, grab a cloner object and throw your link in there. Now we want to bring the Y position down to zero. And we'll go back to our front viewport. And on the X, we just drag it out until it lines up in the middle again. Same way we did it before. Just make sure you're looking at the clones and not the original one there that you did first time. You can drag the count up to however many you want. Make a material for it. It's a little brighter so you can see it. Lime green fence, why not? Alright, I think it's time for another beer. Uh, oh, you can make a uh, nets with this also um, basketball nets hockey nets air nets whatever kind of net you want to make uh, maybe throw deformers on it um, use some uh, dynamics MoGraph dynamics on it maybe I'll do a tutorial on that alright I'm going to get that beer hope you enjoyed it